So in this video I will show you how you can install uh, custom fonts, downloaded fonts from uh, the internet on your Kobo e-reader. Uh, also in Co-Reader that you have installed on the Kobo e-reader. So I will show you in two ways to install fonts. So let's start by going to the table cam. Here we have my Kobo Clara 2e. First, we need to exit from Co-Reader if you have that started. So now we should click up here and choose the hamburger menu as you see there and choose exit from the menu and then exit. So now it will boot down into the normal operating system on your Kobo e-reader, the normal software, uh, also called Nickel, I think. But uh, this takes a few seconds before it reboots into Kobo software like this. So now this uh, e-reader is ready to be fiddle with if you know what i mean you can copy and erase stuff and uh, from the file system be careful though but uh, uh, now we should plug in this cable to be connected to my computer i have a mac but you can do this on windows too here you need to choose connect so click connect so now it should be connected to my computer. So now we can go into desktop cam. Here we have my desktop. So now the Kobo Air Reader should show up here as a device, as you can see there. So now I open this in a, another tab in Finder on my Mac, like so. Now we have opened Co-Reader in Finder, my Kobo e-reader in Finder. If you don't see hidden files here, you need to do a command uh, in, uh, on your Mac. I see my hidden files here, but I will show you here. Uh, you can't see, but shift command dot will hide or show hidden files. Now I hide them. So I do shift command dot again. Now I see hidden files. Here we have all the folders on your Kobo. So for example, if you start with normal Kobo software instead of um, Co-Reader, we go into the Kobo folder. Here we should see different folders as you see. And here, if you don't see a folder called fonts, you need to create one. So we go into <clears throat> Finder again and do a new folder called fonts, like so. And then open that folder. Now you should copy the fonts you want to use into that folder. And the fonts I will use for this is called Fanwood and Share Inc. 6 and Atkinson Hypergly, Hyper Legible font. Uh, so, and you should use uh, TTF or OTF. <clears throat> so, let's start by. Uh, Copying these over to that Atkinson Hyperglide, like so, and we can do uh, Share Ink Six. Also to the fonts, uh, we have different sharing no, uh, with uh, no weight. Uh, 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 uh. I see. We 
we take those two to see how it goes into the fonts so now we are sharing Atkinson we have Fanwood where we have Fanwood then Fanwood Master could it be the right folder yes here we have uh, Fanwood I to take those two like so so now we have copied fonts that will probably work with the, the normal Kobo software so now we go into co-reader and do the same I will have the same fonts in co-reader uh, so we go into the Kobo e-reader again and here we go into the ads folder to find a co-reader software here we have co-reader now we go into co-reader here we should find a fonts folder like this here you see uh, it's more organized so I think I should use uh, actually the complete folder for fanwood for example uh, now I can uh, create a folder called fanwood like this also do we take these fonts fanwood and drag them into the fanwood map like so now we do the same with atkinson but i don't know if i should use the otf or ttf for co-reader what's best i don't know but i try the ttf i think or no i go for the otf fonts instead uh, I take Atkinson hyper legible as a folder name Atkinson legible I think it was hey no 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 uh, hyper legible Uh, hyper like so uh, now we copy the OTF fonts into that folder like so uh, now we create the last folder called Share ink. I don't see the difference here. Share ink 6, no wait, share ink 6 SP. I don't know the difference there. And we have the weight files for them. So I, I um, do actually copy the whole stuff here instead so i do this into the fonts map like so and we do the no weight the same with that the no weight like so so now I think I have all the fonts I want to install uh, I will check one thing before I 
continue. Uh, so now we have uh, copied the fonts to both co-reader on the same e-reader and the original Kobo software. So we have fonts in two different places on the same e-reader. So now we should connect, disconnect Kobo e-reader like clicking here. And now we go into my table cam again. Here we have the Kobo Clara 2E. As you see, I've disconnected it from the Mac, but it still shows that it's connected. It's a bug. Kobo, Kobo Clara 2E is very bad at this. Uh, I just wait a few seconds after I did that and then remove this cable anyway, even if it shows that you shouldn't. Uh, so now I have disconnected this Kobo Clara 2E from my computer, my Mac. So now I have just to wait before the Mac, uh, the Kobo e-reader disconnects and reboots into the operating system again. It will uh, boot into the original normal Kobo e-reader software like this. So now I will just check how it is with the phones. I don't know if I need to maybe restart this, but uh, I will see if I need to do that by going to uh, what I mean is that you maybe need to restart the air reader totally before the phone shows up. But uh, I will be lazy here and see if I already have them. Settings. Uh, I need some glasses for this, sorry. Uh, here we have everything set in place. Let's open a book. Let's uh, open this, like so. Now we should see if we can uh, choose another font. Uh, sorry. Uh, here we have Atkinson hyper legible, for example, and we have sharing six, sharing six P fanwood and fanwood text. So let's try fanwood, for example. Now we have choose the fanwood font, as you can see. And now we choose Atkinson hyper legible. I don't see any difference here. Sorry, but mm -hmm. I think it's the EPUB file that with the original Kobo software, you can't change that. So let's do a book. I know you can do different changes like this. Mm -hmm. So now we do Publisher default, we have, uh, let's start with the bottom here, Fanwood, like so. This works, as you saw, it's the EPUB I've opened that was not good at this, it could be so. But this is, um, as you see, Fanwood. Uh, this is how Fanwood looks. You can do a lot more settings, but I show you quite fast here. Fanwood, uh, we have Sharing 6. This is Sharing 6, looks pretty nice. Uh, we have uh, Atkinson Hyperglade, and I will do some wait on that like so and now we have atkinson hyperglade on this so you see it works uh, sorry for that i opened an epub that was not good at changing fonts and so on because that has drm protection in that book so i think that's why but um, 
And let's now open CoReader, my favorite software for reading ebooks. I don't use uh, the Kobo standard anyway. So I open CoReader here. And now it should be very interesting to see how good the phones works in CoReader. I'm very excited for that. Uh, so uh, let's uh, see this. Uh, we have phones here. Now we have Noto Sans Devangeri UI. We should find the other phones here, like this, as you see, Fanwood. We have some new stuff here. We choose Fanwood first, like so. Here we have Fanwood. Looks like this, pretty nice. And we have sharing 6SP with bold, as you see here, looks really good. And we have uh, sharing 6 without bold, maybe, like this. I have also bold in other settings. You can do a lot of different settings, but uh, uh, these are different phones. You can now choose because I have installed them. We have one phone that was not named correctly, as you see there. So that font is uh, uh, something wrong with. We have Atkinson Hyper Legible here. Uh, and that looks awesome. I think that will be my new default font. Looks so, so nice. So, as you see, it works great in uh, CoReader. I really love CoReader. It's so great to read in CoReader. And I love to be able to do what I want with my CoReader software so I can have everything as I want it. So this is so awesome. Uh, that was all for this video. So now you know how to install phones in the normal Kobo software. And you also know how to install phones in the CoReader software like this. So uh, the phones are found is easy to find, find on the net. So for example, from the CoReader GitHub page, you have a lot of phones. These phones was from the CoReader GitHub page. Uh, I can do a link down below in the description text if I remember to do so, if you want, to these phones that I found on the GitHub page. Okay, so bye.